About 2 million Americans have type 1 diabetes, also known as insulin dependent or juvenile diabetes, and the number of cases is rising. The FDA recently approved a drug to delay the onset of symptoms for people at high risk. CBS 2's Dr. John LaPook shows us how the treatment could buy years of health without the need for insulin. From an early age, Anna Ferguson saw how type 1 diabetes affected her older sister, Kate. I knew that I would never want to experience what she was going through. In type 1 diabetes, the immune system mistakenly destroys insulin producing cells in the pancreas. When Ferguson was five, blood tests showed she had certain antibodies that meant her risk of developing diabetes over the next five years was about 75 percent. As she hit at age 12 and her blood sugar started to go out of whack, then it was kind of, all right, now what are we going to do? That's when Ferguson's parents enrolled her in a clinical trial led by Yale University immunologist Dr. Kevin Harold. It's an intravenous infusion of a specially designed monoclonal antibody called t -Zield. Instead of half of the people developing diabetes in two years, half of the people develop diabetes in four years. When you saw those results, what was your reaction? I was hoping it would be even longer, but any time without diabetes is a gift. Dr. Harold says a breakthrough in diabetes treatment is long overdue. We have better insulins, we have uh, methods of delivering it that have advanced significantly, but it's never as perfect as your own pancreas in making insulin. While she was earning her degree at the University of Maine, Anna Ferguson's blood sugar became too high again. So she traveled to New Haven for a second round of t -Zield infusions. We are. Side effects have been relatively mild. Even if it doesn't buy her more time without insulin, the family is grateful for the gift she's already received. I feel incredibly lucky and, you know, holding out hope that it works. The list price of a single course of therapy is $193,000, but consider this. People with diabetes spend an average of nearly $10,000 a year on related medical expenses. Although a one-time treatment is expensive, t -Zield could be a cost-saving treatment over the lifetime of young people like Anna. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York. And doctors say there is hope this same preventive approach could one day be used for other autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, or MS.